label and literal controls label can and literal controls both can be used to display a text on a web page so let us see first of all label control and you can set a text property of a label control using properties window select the text property and type its content let us say i am label then other properties are there you can set id property then you can see this is the back color border color border style border view these are the common properties for the label controls next thing let us use literal control so use a literal control put a literal control and you also can set a text property of a literal control using a properties window here you can see but you can see that the properties for which are supported by the label controls are not supported by the literal controls means label control supports the properties to format its tag but here literal control does not support any property to format its text means you want to make text as bold italic whatever you cannot apply directly so for that you have to use html tags we will see practically later on so you can set the text property of a literal control either using the properties window or you also can use a html source so in html source go to the code of the literal and then you just type text is equal to say i am literal so either this way in a html source file you can set or from the properties window now let us run it and check it the one main difference is what when the text of the label is displayed on a web fo web form then it is wrapped inside a span tag means what let us see view the page source right click on the web form and say view page source now here you can see that it contained as i am label so before this and after this content you can see that there is a span tag means the text of the label control is wrapped inside the span when it is rendered but if you see the content of the literal then there is no span tag means the text of the uh, literal control is displayed as it is it is not wrapped inside a span tag next thing is what uh, let's see i want to apply i want to make this content as bold so i can see that uh, there are the properties to format the text so from the properties window i can select font and bold as true so now it becomes bold but i want to apply the bold effect to this particular content of a literal control then there is no property to set that so at that time i can use html tags in a html source so let us go to the html file and where i have written the text of literal i can simply use b tag as for bold tag if you know the html tag then you can use them and now you can see here it is applied here so that means um, one more difference is uh, lab, lab, label control supports the formatting style properties while literal control does not support and you need to use html tags again when you run and when you see the source let us see uh, right click on the waveform view page source now you can see that the effect that the style that you have applied for the label is wrapped inside the span tag with the style property but for the literal control the style is applied using simple html tags so this is the another difference between the label and literal control next is uh, suppose uh, i want to change the content of label or literal at run time then i also can do it so how to do it you can use cs file see initially its content is i am literal and when a page is loaded i want to display the content of literal as say let text is equal to i so this is another way to set the text of literal or label control and this one is known as at dynamically means runtime you can change its content let us run it so here it is changed so this is the way how you can set the content or the text property 
of a label or literal control dynamically let us put in a comment we don't want to do it next thing is that uh, if I write down a text of the label as like say here yeah, let us change it it's contained as say B and then sorry say B and then say I am label ending of B is there and make it end. Now you can see here what happened. See. Well, is I am label and the content of literal is I am literal. So when you run it, you will get the same content means the text value of both the controls is the for text for the label is I am label and for the literal is I am literal but suppose instead of that I have written like in this way let us go into the source for the literal and uh, here I have written like in this way see this way I have used the text of a literal control as script type equal to text javascript alert high script means i have assigned a script to the text property of a literal so now let us run it and what check it so you can see that it has executed that script it has not assigned that script as a content of the text right but we want to assign it as it is as a content we don't want to execute it then we can use a mode property mode is equal to in a double quote say encore so now let us run it and check it so it is not going to be execute it will assign as a text to that particular control same way suppose you have assigned the text to this uh, particular label right in a label suppose you have assigned is let us remove this thing everything and uh, i have assigned its text value as like say Text is equal to and run it. Okay, there is something wrong. Let's check code. Okay, double quotes, extra code is there. Remove it and run it. So you can see hi and uh, this is assigned as text. So for label it is executed. We don't want to execute for the label. Then how to write it? Let us see. Remove this part as a text property from this label. And beginning and ending. Between the beginning and ending of label. Uh, use code render block in that write down server dot html encode and in a bracket you need to write the text remove this property name just assign a value and here you just write it now let us run it so you can see it is not executed but it is assigned as a text content so this is the use of HTML encode method of server and uh, more property of a literal control. Next thing is that suppose I have one more literal control. Let us consider, let us put one more literal control and uh, here use a literal control. Okay. And then what I want to do, I just want to set its uh, text dynamically, right? When page is loaded. But I want to put that text as a title of web page. So instead of this source, I can cut it and put this control source in a title tag, between the title tag. And then you can see that here a literal control is there. Now let us run it. So the first label text is there then the literal control text is there and uh, the second literal control text we have not assigned so we cannot get it now assign its value at runtime let's say uh, go to the cs and page is loaded and say 
literal to dot text equal to high. So here you can see that that content is displayed high. So in this way you also can use literal control to put the content as a title of your page. Suppose if I say you how to display the content of literal as the high and plus today's date. So I then say system dot date time dot now dot to string. You can see that. So here the high then say today's date and the time. 